This is day 64 in the Hamas Israel war, and the IDF is engaged in fierce battles against Hamas terrorists in the Gaza Strip, while the Israeli Air Force is bombing Hamas's underground positions using a bunker buster bomb that is dropped from Israeli airplanes. I'm Yael Pinto reporting to you from Israel. In the northern part of the Gaza Strip, IDF forces completely surrounded Bet Lachia, which is another huge Hamas terror hub in the Gaza Strip. The forces are preventing Hamas terrorists from receiving additional ammunition, weapons, and other military supplies, forcing hundreds and close to a thousand of them, according to unofficial reports, to surrender to the Israeli troops, while others keep fighting, and this is a fight for their lives, as the IDF is getting control of Bet Lachia soon. In another area in the northern part of the Gaza Strip called Jabalia, Hamas terrorists hold plenty of ammunition and militants, and the fighting against the IDF is fierce. Special IDF units, together with tanks and the Air Force, are able to divide the areas that Hamas control into strips of land, cutting off the terrorists from one another and dealing with each area separately until it is cleared from Hamas terrorists. Soon, the IDF will hold control of all of the northern part of Gaza. As the fighting continues, the IDF is closing in on more and more of Hamas's leadership, neutralizing and capturing military leaders and closing in on Yechia Sinwar, the terror mastermind behind the 7th of October terror attacks against Israel. Throughout this war, and in order to tackle Hamas's guerrilla warfare and underground terror tactics, the IDF had to innovate and develop new technologies and test them out while fighting. In my reports, I shared about the IDF using unmanned vehicles and unmanned drones together with special technologies to locate and scan for Hamas terrorists and underground terror tunnels. I don't know what implications these new developments will have to our civilian lives, but it just shows that Israel does not stop innovating even when it's under fire and under attack. The fighting for Gaza South is on at full force as the IDF's Navy is conducting operations to target Hamas positions along the Gaza shore in the south, while Israeli Air Force is using special bunker busters in order to neutralize Hamas's terror positions that were identified by the IDF. In the south, Hamas has a vast infrastructure of underground terror tunnels, and the IDF is moving in in order to take control of more grounds and surround Hamas's positions. The IDF, together with Egypt, are investing resources in order to block Hamas terrorists from attempting to escape through Egypt with the help of the Houthi rebels. The IDF does not want Hamas leadership to escape from the Gaza Strip. This battle is long and hard, 64 days, and the IDF is losing soldiers, young Israeli soldiers who are giving their lives in this battle against Hamas. Let me remind you who we are fighting against. In an operation that one of the IDF's divisions carried out yesterday in a school in a Hamas area, the IDF uncovered a large teddy bear that was stuffed with a rifle and ammunition. And in another school, the IDF troops uncovered multiple ammunition in a child's backpack. Hamas has been operating this way since the beginning of this war. It is using civilian populated areas, kindergartens, schools, hospitals, in order to conduct and hide its military terrorist activities. This is the enemy that the IDF and all of us as Israelis are dealing with. We need your help in sharing with the rest of the world 
who Hamas is, because the world needs to understand that this is a terror organization that seeks to destroy the Jewish state of Israel. We want to live here in peace and to release our hostages from the Gaza Strip. So please share our videos with your friends, your families, and join us in prayer for the peace of Jerusalem.